Communicable diseases are infectious diseases and can be passed from one person to another. These type of diseases are caused by something known as pathogens. Pathogens can be viruses, bacteria, protists or fungi. These pathogens can infect animals and plants by direct contact, through water or through the air. Bacteria and viruses, which are the most common pathogens in people, are able to reproduce rapidly inside the body. Viruses are a lot smaller than bacteria. Bacteria divide by a process known as binary fission and they make you feel ill by damaging cells or producing toxins. Viruses, on the other hand, take over healthy cells in the body and reproduce inside them. This process damages the healthy cells. Only some bacteria causes diseases. Some bacteria are used in food and medicine. Viruses and fungi are most common in plants. The spread of these diseases can be reduced or even prevented. Samuelweiss, back in the 19th century, made a very common observation and suggested a simple but effective solution. He noticed that mothers often died after giving birth when a doctor delivered the baby. He suggested this was due to the doctors dealing with other situations first and then not washing their hands before delivering babies. He told doctors to wash their hands to reduce the transmission of diseases. Hand washing is now key to reducing transmission along with many other factors such as using antiseptics. All of this is to do with having good hygiene. Other ways to reduce the transmission of major diseases such as malaria include vaccination and destroying vectors. A vector is something which transmits the disease, such as mosquitoes transmitting malaria. We now need to look at some examples of diseases. Viral diseases are currently unable to be cured, so this means doctors take preventative measures to stop their transmission. Measles is a viral disease which has fever and rash symptoms. The pathogen spreads when an infected person sneezes or coughs and someone else inhales the droplets. Measles can be a fatal disease and so people are vaccinated from it. Vaccination is when a weakened form of the pathogen is injected into a person. This makes sure that the person is prepared if they come into the contact with the pathogen again. HIV is a virus which causes flu-like symptoms. The virus damages the immune system of a person for a long period and eventually the immune system becomes really damaged. When the immune system becomes so damaged, infections cannot be dealt with, the person has AIDS. So HIV leads to AIDS. Certain drugs can be used to prevent the development of AIDS, but if these are not used, the infection can lead to death. HIV is spread by sexual contact or the exchange of bodily fluids. Tobacco mosaic virus is a plant pathogen. The virus results in a distinctive mosaic pattern of discoloration on the leaves of the plant. The discoloration comes about due to the infective cells not photosynthesizing. The virus spreads by insect vectors and the virus infects many different plant types. The significance of bacterial diseases has been reduced due to the development of antibiotics. However, as bacteria become more resistant to antibiotics, the importance of finding new ways to combat bacterial pathogens is becoming more important. Salmonella, food poisoning, is spread by bacteria ingested in food. The disease is spread by eating undercooked food or by eating food which was prepared in unhygienic conditions. The symptoms include being sick, cramps and diarrhoea due to toxins secreted and the infection can lead to severe dehydration. Poultry can be vaccinated against salmonella to prevent the transmission. Gonorrhea is an STD or a sexually transmitted disease. The immediate symptoms of it include a thick yellow or green discharge from the vagina or the penis. It was easily treated with antibiotic penicillin, but now many resistant strains have appeared. Antibiotics are used to reduce the transmission, but also contraception, such as condoms, can be used to prevent it too. Fungal diseases mainly affect plants. Rose black spot is a fungal disease which causes purple and black spots to form on leaves. 
These leaves will then turn yellow and drop off the plant. This affects the growth of the plant as photosynthesis is reduced. The fungus is spread by spores in water or wind. Fungicides, which are chemicals, and the removal of infected leaves can be used to treat the disease. Protists are single-celled organisms. They cause many different diseases in various organisms, including malaria. These diseases are often more worrying. The malaria-causing protists are parasites, which means they need other organisms to feed off. The life cycle of the protists include the mosquito. Malaria causes frequent fever episodes and can be fatal. If the vectors, the mosquitoes, are controlled, the transmission would be reduced. The transmission can be reduced by preventing mosquitoes from breeding and using insect nets to avoid being bitten.